Hello, I think it's been a few weeks since I made a video, so I was going to make a video showing my project for the day. In this area right here, I'm going to fence in a new garden area. I'll get what I can done today. It's supposed to be maybe snow or ice or something, maybe rain or maybe not. Come in sometime later today and tomorrow, so I'll get what I can done today. First, I need to clear this out of all the uh, the brush stuff through here, and then I'm going to cut down two dead trees. This one right here, and this one right there. And I'm going to mow this area. And I'm not sure if that'll be it for the day or not. I'm going to bury my fence. So I'm going to, um, at least the bottom, six inches or so. So I'm going to need to dig a trench. This is going to be roughly a 23 by 23 foot area. I already have it marked out. I think see there's one down there, one over there. One over there. So I'm gonna get started. All right, I got my two dead trees chopped down. The bigger one here was easier to chop down, or cut down, I'm sorry. I used a chainsaw. I only cut them down because I didn't want them falling on my garden fence. This one here definitely would have. This one here, I don't know if it's a different type of tree or what, but it, man, it was tough wood. This was a small one. I just barely missed my garden fence. I tried to angle it over here more, but luckily it missed. I do use proper protection when doing this. That's my uh, lumberjacking hat thing. I'm gonna cut this up into pieces. Not looking forward to that one. I don't. It'll probably take forever. That's a hard wood. I'm gonna get started on that now. Alright, I got the uh, trees all cut up. Now I'm gonna stack it over here. And start cleaning out this area. Alright, I got uh, all the trees stacked. And I walked around and picked up all the big sticks and and all that stuff in here. It's raining out right now, but it's just not that hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the lawnmower and uh, mow this area. It'll only take a few minutes, and then that'll be it for the day. All right, I got the uh, area mowed. I mowed it uh, north-south and then east-west. My voice is all messed up. It's in the 30s today, and it's been raining and very cold, so I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to uh, wind up my twine here and uh, pound the, uh, the T-post into the ground, and then I'm going to call it a day. It's starting to look like a garden. Tomorrow, if it's not raining all day, or if it's not raining too hard, I go ahead and dig a trench around it and uh, and put in the uh, the fencing. And that's all for today. Well, it's now the next morning, and uh, so I'm gonna start digging the trench around here to put the fencing in. It's 35 degrees outside and raining on on and off or off and on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and. Hopefully get this done today, if it doesn't rain too hard. I think in this garden I'm going to grow maybe one-third sweet potatoes and two-thirds melons. So it'll be a sweet potato slash melon garden. That's the plan anyway. Well, I got the, uh, the trench dug. 
for the fence. It took me about three hours or so. That's exhausting. There was all kinds of tree roots over on one side. I threw one over here. That's one. It's a real long one I pulled out of the out of the dirt. It's just three issues. There's a uh, a big tree uh, root there. I guess there's a root. I've never seen one that big before. It may just be a tree that's fallen in, in dirt. Uh, fell on top of it or the leaves made new dirt on top of it. Then there was a tree stump in the way here. I could probably go around it. I don't know. I'll try and get it out. This is just an old rotten one. And over here there's another small one, but it'll be easy. This side here is where all the, uh, the tree roots were over here. Yeah, it's just some of them. a long one. I'm gonna stop and have lunch and then hopefully if I have enough energy left I'll uh, put up the fence. Well it's been a week since the last segment left off. It was very cold today, 28 degrees out. I got back from uh, Lowe's and I bought 2,000 pounds of manure compost for $89. I got my reciprocating saw out and I've been cutting these uh, roots or I think this one was just a log that got buried or a big tree. I cut it out with the reciprocating saw. It went right through it. So now I'm going to tackle this thing. I don't know if I should chop it up with an axe or I'm sure it's mostly rotted, but I'm going to go ahead and start on this. Well, I got enough of this stump out so I can put the fence in. I just used my axe and chopped it up. I know that's not proper use of an axe, and I know that axes aren't supposed to hit the dirt and all that, but it's a cheap axe from Ace Hardware. It's never been sharpened, and it's basically just a junk axe. So. I don't think there's any issue using it improperly like that. So uh, tomorrow if it's not too terribly cold, I'm going to go ahead and start putting up the fence at least. This dirt here is all frozen, so I'll have to wait until it's above freezing outside to, uh, to bury the fence. So hopefully I'll finish up the fencing tomorrow. Right, it's now the next day. I've got all my fencing put up today. It's uh pushed down. I guess some kind of an L shape down in the trench I dug. So I'll throw the dirt on top of that. And, uh, hopefully it'll keep from animals from digging underneath it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to shovel much of this dirt. I think it may be mostly frozen because it's been below freezing for several days. It got down to 9 degrees last night. It's 36 right now, so it feels kind of warm out here. But I'm going to try and shovel that. And hopefully I can get that all buried today. And uh, cut these bags open and open and spread that out. All the cow manure out. Alright, I got this little section done, about 10 feet or so. And this, uh, this soil is frozen solid. And, uh, it would take me all day to do that. So I'm gonna wait and finish that until it's uh, above freezing for a few days. I was having to break these massive pieces apart. This part here, I don't know if you can tell. Right here, this is one solid piece, just frozen solid. 
I don't like to leave things unfinished, but I think that can wait until it's above freezing for several days. I'd like to spread these uh, the cow manure out. I'm not sure if they're frozen solid or not. Well, some of them are, and some feel pretty loose. I guess it just depends on the moisture content. So I'm going to cut these bags open. Well, I got all the bags dumped out. Some of them are dry, so. Uh, it won't be an issue raking that. I broke them all up with my shovel, but some of them they were just frozen solid. And I broke it up as best as I could. I won't be able to, to rake that, level it out. But Maybe uh, if I leave it out overnight, some of the moisture content will evaporate off and maybe it won't be frozen tomorrow. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be tonight or tomorrow, but I assume it's going to get below freezing. Well, I'm going to try to rake what I can. All right, I got all the uh, manure compost spread out. All these big chunks are the frozen pieces. It's just one solid chunk frozen. And there's smaller pieces that are frozen right there. But it's all spread out. So. Like I said, tomorrow I'll try and break it again. See if I can spread it out better. Then I'll probably just start dumping uh, leaves on it. If it's not too windy or too cold tomorrow, I have no idea what the temperature is supposed to be. So that's it for today. All right, I'm just about finished with my new garden. Today, I was concerned that the uh, the fence wasn't high enough and all the leaves would just blow out. I had some extra chicken wire. I think it was two foot tall. So I just attached it here and did that all the way around. I left a little section out here so I could walk in and out of it. And I don't think many leaves will blow through that. The, earlier today the soil here was still frozen. It may have thawed out now. A lot of the uh, manure was mostly thawed. But some of it was still frozen, so I just left that and I started filling this up with leaves. It'll probably take about four times the amount of leaves I have on here right now. This was about two hours of work or so, maybe two and a half hours. So all I have left to do is just to wait for it to be above freezing for a few days and bury the fence and then continue filling this up with leaves. That'll be all. Hopefully it does pretty well. This will be my no-till garden with leaves. I think I mentioned I was going to grow melons and sweet potatoes here. I think I'm just going to grow melons and maybe something else. I'm going to try growing kale and, uh, and Swiss chard and amaranth this year. I may put it in this one or, or over in my other one over here. Just to have some greens to eat. I like salads. Um, I was going to grow some cucumbers too for salads. Hopefully it works out okay. Thanks for watching.